Hey guys, I bought a laundromat and I wanted to show you how much money it made today, but we're out of quarters, so this is an emergency to collect the money. Oh, there's a lot of money in here. That's cool. So this bodes very well for the collection. We'll start with the large washer. This holds 60 pounds of clothes. It's my best money maker by far. Each one of these coin bins holds about $250 maximum. If they're totally full, that's a good sign, but if they get too full, they'll actually jam the machine up, and that's a bad problem. So these are from my brand new washers, and uh, they're about a third to half of the way full, so that's a really good thing. We've got to speed it up so that it doesn't take forever. And as we get farther away from the seats, um, the money that these bring in goes down. Um, we have to take the, that bucket is like 20, 30 pounds. It's so freaking happy. So now we are on bucket number two, which is a good sign. I normally don't have to do a bunch of buckets, but we're happy to do it with all the new equipment here at my laundromat. Now we're going to continue, and these are the medium-sized washers. They tend to make a good bit of money. These are the only two washers that I kept from the original laundromat. Now we're going to put a bucket. Uh, we're going to combine them for the washer money, and now we're looking at the dryers. Some people come in and use only the dryers, so the amount of money they make is kind of independent sometimes from the washers. We're going to go through, get all this money. We're going to take it back to my office, and now we're going to go through and get the vending machine. And it's stocked full of delicious Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. Uh, not a ton of money today, but um, we went a while without it being stocked, so that's just a problem. And I've got this soap vending machine, and we've got a little bit of money in here. We just finally fixed it. Someone came with a crowbar and broke it. Um, we're also almost out of candy, so we need to restock that. But there's actually a pretty decent amount of money in here for it being just one week. A few ones, not that much. So we're going to take it back to the office and do the bill count. This is my absolute favorite part of this. We're going to see this is the vending total. Um, it is $67. And then we're going to add the washer and dryer money. Make note of the $67 from the vending machine. We'll add that to the total eventually. And we're at $328. Now we're going to do the tens. We're going to count those up. Almost $500. Bucks. Um, and this is by far one of the best questions I've done here on TikTok. Oh, wow. Uh, $10.68. So now we're going to go through and count the coins because we have to know, do we have a surplus of bills or do we have a surplus of coins? The vending total there was um, 144.25, so we'll add that 67 back in. So we made uh, probably 225. Now, as a note, my cost is 35% of the money that comes in for vending, so we actually made a profit of 175 on that. The dryers have brought in about $230, which really we're making a lot more money off dryers now than I ever thought that we would. The small washers ended up at about $270. I try to differentiate it. Now we'll go through on the large dryers, and that's the number. Now we have to calculate walk-off, which is negative 